Hello and welcome or welcome back to Basics with Tony. This week is my foundation routine. So I start off with my primer, which is the Barry M original primer. I like using it because I have dry skin and it's moisturizing. So it's almost like a cream, that's why I use so much, so that I don't have to use a moisturizer as well during these hot summer days. Okay, I'm using Fenty Beauty in 420. I'm just getting my foundation brush, brush <laughs> and I pumped twice and I start on my chin. My chin is my problem area just to make sure there's enough coverage because the Fenty foundation is medium coverage but it's buildable. So when I just do my regular three pumps and just do it all over my face, sometimes it shears out on my chin. So I start by focusing in this area first and then I gradually build up around my face. And don't forget to blend out onto your neck or underneath your um, head because sometimes you will get that stark line that you don't realize when you're doing the rest of your face but when you go outside especially as it's so bright now you look crazy <laughs> so now I'm just um, going on to the rest of my face as you see I do tap it down first before I start blending it in Now as you get to your under eye area, you don't have to worry so much about the coverage because you're going to conceal later on, but if I was having a bad under eye day, I would also colour correct before I applied the foundation on that area. I will have another dedicated video to that. So as I did earlier, I just stamp it on my head before start, I start to blend. I take more care here, obviously because I don't want to mess up my eyebrows and I use circular motions so that I don't get makeup in my hairline. Well at least I try not to. <laughs> applying the rest of the foundation just what's left on my brush over my eyes I don't usually do this but for those that have hyperpigmentation this will be good for giving you the clear canvas that you will need for your eye makeup so now I'm just going to spot conceal with the knit sculpts and highlight face duo in chestnut and sand I'm using chestnut just in where I have little blemishes and things where I can cover it up a bit more an alternative to this you can use, if you're my skin tone, you can use the LA Girl Pro Concealer in Toast, that's also very effective. So as we're now on the final stage of just blending that all in, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and found it very informative. And please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.